Welcome to Sketchy Jeeps. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Overlander XL rooftop tent from Smittyville. <laughs> had this tent for just over a year now and so far we've had it to about six off-road parks and we've used it just about every other month for the past year so we've got some seat time in it as of now uh, I'd like to give you an idea of what we've liked about it and what we haven't liked about it This is the Overlander XL, and basically this is the larger version of the Smittybelt Overlander tent. The reason I wanted to go with the XL is because, A, I'm a bigger guy, I like to have a little bit of room, but I also go out with my wife and my three kids, and we can all fit in this tent very comfortably. I'm six foot one, and when I lay down, there's tons of room, head and foot room. One negative I would have to say is this mattress. Mattress is not very great, especially if you're a bigger guy. The uh, foam is going to compress and it's going to be pretty uncomfortable on your back about halfway through the night. What we did to fix that was we actually have a two inch memory foam pad that we got on Amazon that we throw on top of this. Um, it's not in here right now because it doesn't come with the tent. I'm just kind of covering what you actually are going to get when you get the tent, but it helped out tremendously. Another negative if I had to pick one would be that this canopy pole that runs up to support this outer canopy over the ladder is not very heavy duty. Here is the veranda support pole is what somebody Belt calls it. Uh, essentially it's just a cheap flimsy piece of aluminum that supports the canopy area over the ladder. This actually bent almost completely in half during a really heavy rainstorm. Now granted the tent did not leak. We stayed completely dry. But this was bent nearly in half and I had to bend it somewhat back into shape. And right now I am fighting Smitty Belt to get a replacement under warranty. So we'll see how that turns out. Hey there. The cool thing about this tent is that it actually comes with a LED light bar. Perfect for all you mall crawlers. I'm sure you'll love it. But it actually is pretty cool. It lights up this entire tent. Another thing I really like about this tent is the storage pockets inside. When you're done for the night and you want to lay down, you have a place to keep your phone, your pistol if you're an American, throw it right in. Keeps everything tucked away, out of the way for the night. Let's talk price. I paid $850 for this tent on Amazon roughly about a year ago. It was last February. Right now, if you go on Amazon and look it up, it's running about $10.99. Um, for $850, it was definitely a steal, and even at $1,100, I think you're going to be hard-pressed to find a tent this size and this quality from some of your other manufacturers at that price point. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, I was able to give you a little bit more information about the tent and some of my experiences I've had with it. 